This is Mandy Rockefeller and I'm standing outside of 146 Valley Center. Uh, you can see beautiful views out to the west. Again, I'm sorry for my car running. Uh, the family's in it. So um, this is a corner unit, an end unit. You can see this is now looking north um, and kind of panning over to the east. You can see some beautiful sunset in the clouds. Um, and then looking out to the south. Looking at the unit, it appears again to be in good condition around the exterior. I'm not seeing anything that needs major work. Concrete pad out front also seems to look really good. Uh, brickwork looks nice, so we'll head on inside. Uh, you'll notice some major differences in the layout of the end units as opposed to the interior units. Um, same entry with the closet. I'm walking through the stairway uh, into the main living area. Main living area, pretty similar, but you'll notice a few differences. Um, outside, this is, again, the advantage of an end unit. Let me see if I can not have too much of a glare, sorry. Uh, patio appears to be pretty good. You can see a minor crack right there. Um, everything else looks good. You can see the community space with the berry propane tanks. Uh, fireplaces in Valley Center are all propane. Um, there are air conditioning units just like they are in the other. And then we've got, um, we'll walk over to our half bath here. So half bath. And then off on the side we have same deal and you'll notice that piping. So this is one of the units that the radon mitigation system is piped through this home. Looking back out to the sliding glass door, fireplace, and then to the kitchen. In this kitchen, it does have a granite countertop. Uh, the floors are tile, not hardwood. Um, and you'll notice that the trim is different in this house than the other. So there are some, some differences in the finish of the homes. Out into the garage, we've got again a nice two car garage, uh, pretty clean except for some lumber. Um, nothing on this side, uh, and door with opener. We'll go downstairs and do the same routine as last time. The downstairs layouts are about the same. This carpeting, um, it's in good condition. It hasn't been cleaned. Uh, that I can tell recently or else it's been walked on quite a bit. But either way, um, you've got the same sort of bathroom here, full bath, tile, um, formica, countertop, same kind of cabinetry, and light fixture. Again, looking up the stairs, you can see they're carpeted, they're, they're in fine condition. Uh, different carpeting than what you saw. And then same circumstance here with the living area. It's just a big open space. And then in these closets you can see uh, the piping system and water heater. And then the next closet is just storage, or it should be. Looks like there's some painting supplies in there. Walking back out to the stairs, we'll go back upstairs and I'll grab a couple lights as we head up here. back up the stairs into the kitchen into the living area and we'll go out and
to the stairs here again front entry and we'll head upstairs same kind of landing upstairs uh, laundry you'll see that here and then on this side you'll see the radon mitigation system for this unit it's currently being measured uh, off on so we're now facing west on the right hand side of the stairs this is the master bedroom and you can see one of the major differences in layout is with the dual closets on the side and the master bath uh, your views it's getting kind of dark outside sorry for the delay but let's see if I can get a good view out to the west kind of miss the sunset but beautiful views out to the west walking into the bathroom the other difference that you'll notice is this bathroom uh, only has a shower so the upstairs master is actually a three-quarter bath not a full bath you have a toilet and you're also lacking that storage space so um, same tile and countertops throughout, but you do have this little storage behind the door. So, just a little bit of a different layout there. And walking back out, you can see one more time the master bedroom from a different angle. Walking out of the master bedroom, we can see the stairs again. Uh, this is bedroom number two, stairs, and then uh, we'll head down the hallway, but I'll give you a view of bedroom number two. Now, carpet, again, appears to be in great condition. And we'll step over here. Um, there's a closet behind the door. So if you, I'll step back, you can see this closet here behind the door and also another closet on the side of the door as well, built-ins. So lots of storage space in this house as well. Uh, also you see the cutout along the stairs for extra light and another closet for storage here in the hallway. And then uh, bedroom number three. And another difference that you'll notice with bedroom number three in the exterior units is you do have a balcony with a uh, railing so you, and a sliding glass door so you can actually step outside should you choose to do so. And I will give you a quick view. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it out here, but you do have a Teton view from this unit. Oh, it's not probably going to work very well. Darn. Um, it won't focus, but you do have a Teton view out there. You can see it now. So beautiful views. And then nice closet with built-in. So, so I'll give you a quick overview, pan around the room here. Up to the window. And then this is our final bathroom. Um, closet, of course on this side and full bath with a tiled shower. Yeah, you've got your vanity. Try to stay out of the photo. She's me, hi. Um, and that is the walkthrough of the home, uh, 146 Valley Center.